It's a good Saturday morning from the corner here of Epworth and Lincoln. I'm Pastor Danny bringing you some Saturday encouragement. And uh, yesterday we got some news from the governor about uh, what things might look like uh, over the next several weeks uh, all the way through the 4th of July if uh, we continue to do uh, the things necessary uh, to protect life and, and to preserve life. Uh, and so uh, we're still kind of unpacking what does that look like, but as, as I reflected on this and, and trying to discern and getting some thoughts uh, together from folks about, about what it might be like uh, to come back together, I was struck uh, and reminded of the uh, ancient Hebrew people who, uh, while when they left uh, Egypt, after they had been freed from bondage, it was, it was a great procession. They all went together. It was, a, it was kind of a one-time event. But fast forward in their, their history to a time period where they were in Judah and they had you know, again, sinned against God and, and so God had withheld blessings and, and they were conquered people and they were spread and scattered uh, throughout, but, but a significant number were exiled to Babylon. And so during this time period, when it, when it came time to, to come back together, they, they were uh, released from their bondage because uh, the king that had taken over them was taken over himself, and so they had been released. And after the release, it wasn't like Egypt. It wasn't this great procession on a single day where things uh, were this way one day and, 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 and kind of back to normal or totally different on the second it was more of a gradual thing that the actual uh, return uh, from exile took a period of about five years uh, before it was complete. And so we find ourselves uh, in the same circumstances here where uh, this is not a light switch to be turned back on. Uh, so we're going to, number one, we're going to pray through this thing and, and try to figure out and discern uh, what it means. We're going to reflect. We're going to look at our facilities and, and what do we have? Can we do outdoor worship? Can we do uh, indoor worship? Uh, it, 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 I, the answer to the question right now, I don't know. But I am certain that in time, God will reveal what we are to do. And so uh, I would, would take us back to the beginning. One of the very first uh, things we talked about in this is that we need to be still and know God is God. That at the end of the day, uh, the decisions we make today will be short-term decisions, but God is, is, has been in history. God is with us present now, and God is with us in the future. And so we simply need to be still uh, and see where he's calling uh, us to be as we gather again. And, and it, it, I can say this, it will be a very gradual process it will not uh, be a glorious return uh, like maybe, uh, I know I've had thoughts of that, uh, that, that one day we would flip the light switches back on and be in, in worship, and I had been looking forward to that for a period of time, but, but the reality is that that's just not going to happen. And so uh, we need to be in prayer, we need to be reflecting, we need to discern where God's calling us to go with this. And to me that's encouraging because uh, while it did take uh, the uh, Israelites uh, five years to return, they were able to do some great things after that gradual return. So let's pray. Gracious God, uh, we are just uh, excited to be, be coming back together as a church, even though it's maybe not what we thought it might be. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're asking for your guidance so that we might first do no harm that we preserve life and that we are a part of your plan in that. So lift us up, strengthen us, keep us encouraged. In Christ's name we pray, amen. So today be blessed, be encouraged, be filled with the Holy Spirit, and you have a blessed Saturday, amen.